Hello and welcome to ACS Golf and today's bonus review, which has been released 12 a.m. UK time on a Friday, which can only mean one thing. It's a brand new club for 2024. Now, if you're new to the channel or a returning viewer, do not worry. All my normal reviews, which come out weekly on the Sunday, obviously still happen, regardless if I have a bonus review with a new club. Um, those reviews tend to look at older clubs, say 2023 backwards, where they're really good bargains, basically, or great clubs that could potentially help your bag and save you a bit of money. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you do not miss this week's review, which will be coming out as normal on Sunday. Now, on to the club today, which obviously, like I said, is from 2024. Been out for a couple of months now. You've obviously clicked on this video, so you know what it is. Got a little hint there as well on, on my polo shirt I'm wearing today. And it's this. It's the Odyssey AI-1 milled, specifically the 7T putter. Now, the reason I've gone for this one is because this is sort of the normal shape I generally try and go for with my putters. I really do like that fang shape. And the main reason I picked this up is because this is £150 over here in the UK, or if you're in America, $150 more than my current gamer. The AI-1, just the normal one, specifically the Rosie. Tried this for the channel, so do check the review out for this. And I loved it. The best rolling putter I've hit, I think, ever, personally. And it's in the bag, and I'm having great results with it. So I thought, well, hold on. Odyssey, you know, use this putter. You know, they've done this milled version. You know, cost more money because it is a milled putter. And I want to know if it's actually worth it. So that's why I picked it up for you guys to do today. So as always, we're going to have a closer look at this club. Come back and go for all the technology that's in here. Get down to the golf course. Go check it out to one of my local golf courses, actually Leatherhead, to play 18 holes with. And then we'll come back here, go through the ACS golf scale. So I'll give it a score. Then also go through what I potentially think is a problem with this putter. And there is a problem with it. So do watch to the end of the video to find out what this is. Okay, now, as always, let's have a closer look at this club. So there you go, a closer look at the club, and it is a very cool looking thing. Not too sure about the gold face. I personally would have maybe liked it to have been blue across the whole face, to be honest, rather than that gold. You know, but anyway, that is with Odyssey. Now, going into all the features and benefits of this club from their website. So features and benefits. So all golfers, even the best tall players in the world, miss the centre of face from time to time. And when you lose speed relative to a centre hit, the ball doesn't roll as far as you intended. So you miss more putts or leave them farther from the hole. Now in Odyssey's AI-1 milled, we've leveraged Callaway's industry-leading artificial intelligence design and supercomputing capabilities and breathe, <laughs> to create a level of insert performance that no one else can match. These premium putters feature a 100% milled stainless steel body. There you go with a 100% milled titanium insert. The multi-material construction includes unique contours on the back of the face that minimizes, the back of this face, that minim minimizes ball speed losses on off-centered hits and greatly increases sweet spot. With AI-1 milled putters, they finish 10% closer to the hole on average than a typical milled putter. That is a bold claim. So going to the insert, so AI-1 insert, this mill titanium insert was designed using artificial intelligence to create the unique contours on the back surface. These contours help to maintain ball speed on off-centered hits for better distance control, no matter where you hit on the face. Unique champagne finish, there you go, um, complements the navy PVD of the head to give it a rich striking look. So we said, you know, 100% milled faces. You know, unique navy PVD finish. And then also with this, which obviously I've done quite well over the years, you know, you have this SL90 shaft, a so lightweight steel shaft with 20 to 30 grams, depending on the grip, or counter, counter balance weight in the butt end. This is an evolutionary of our stroke lab weighting that will appeal to even more golfers. But, however, guess what? You got the same shaft in the cheaper model. 
Interesting, huh? Interesting. And you got interchangeable weights on the front, as you can see there, available in 5, 10, 15, and 20 grams. These removable weights allow you to dial in your head weight to your exact performance. Again, see on the bottom of that, removable weights. Hold on, what are we actually paying an extra £150 here for? Anyway, so there you go. There's all the technology in there. Very brief and quickly through it. So let's get down to the course. I'll talk through my sort of findings when I was playing with it and what I enjoyed about it and what I didn't enjoy about it and also what I didn't really get on with, which is probably more down to my stroke rather than the actual putter. Um, and then we'll come back here and we'll go through the ACS golf scale. All right, let's head out onto the course. So here I am down on the course at Leatherhead where I played 18 holes. Now let's go straight into the feel of this putter. So for me, you know, for a milled face putter, it still felt quite firm. It felt a bit firmer than I was expecting to be honest. And that's because even though you had the whole putter, you know, milled stainless steel body, the face is actually a 100% milled titanium insert, which meant that it felt a little bit firmer than I would expect from say a normal 100% milled stainless steel body. Now that's not the end of the world, but it did feel a little bit firmer than the AI one with their white hot insert, which I was quite surprised by. Now. When it came down to performance, I found it actually quite hard to judge the distance with this putter, for example, here, you know, online, but left it short for a birdie putter, which is really quite annoying, especially when you're online like that. And I think the issue with it, though, even though it was firm, I just couldn't really judge it. Don't get me wrong, I was playing this first thing in the morning where it just rained the night before, so the greens were really slow, and then the sun came out and they started to quicken up a bit. So it was actually a really tough putting day, but overall, I wasn't happy by the fact I just couldn't get the distance right with this. You know, hitting it off the face, I felt it was quite sort of dull while the AI won, you know, quite quick off the face. So I felt I had to put a little bit more into it to get the distance I wanted. And it just meant that sometimes, you know, I was short because I didn't hit it hard enough or I went straight past it. Something I could definitely get used to, but something I did find slightly annoying. However, you know, the putter itself, you know, was a really high quality putter. The feel was very good overall, even though it was a little bit firm and unexpected. And obviously the looking down on it, you know, it doesn't inspire confidence and overall, you know, very happy with it. So there you go. And interesting results, to be fair. You know, I was quite short on a good few putts, to be fair. And there was definitely a few birdies I left out there, which I definitely feel like on the day I probably would have got with this. So it's a little bit upset with the performance, but it was a very difficult day to putt. You know, there was a lot of moisture on the ground. And then when the sun came out, the moisture went and the greens became a lot quicker. So it was quite difficult to judge, but still not too happy for it. But definitely something I could get used to. I think it's just more the fact that I've gone from quite a springy face, you know, with this insert, everything sort of pops off it, to this one, which is a bit more dull and you sort of really need to be using your sort of finesse putting stroke rather than hoping that the face is going to sort of push the ball out a little bit faster than normal. So... Not the end of the world, but for me, I just didn't quite get used to it on the day. Now, getting into the results, we've got distance. We know ACS golf scale, we normally do distance, feel, looks, price, forgiveness. I never do distance for parters because that's not something you look for. Going to feel, I'm giving it a four out of five. Um, I gave the AI one, the normal one, a four out of five as well. Um, for me, they feel very different. Like I said, this one feels a lot softer and a lot springier off the face. This one feels a lot more sort of compact when you hit it. Um, feels a little bit firmer, but it still feels very nice. For me, with a milled face, I'd much prefer that sort of whole body that's milled and not a milled insert, that titanium insert they put in there, because I'd much prefer a softer feel with my milled putters. That really screams sort of really premium quality with me, but overall, still felt really quite nice. So a four out of five there. Looks four out of five. I think it looks great. The blue's a little bit darker than the normal AI putter. Um, just not too sure about that gold insert there, to be honest. I think I'd rather have everything gold, so even the white lines gold, or have it white, or have it blue. I think it'd look really cool if it was just blue the whole way through, to be fair. And one thing I will say about this model as well is you know, I just think they could have done a little bit more with that. You know, being the premium model, if you're going for the blade, you get sort of that Odyssey symbol, but in gold there, 
which I think would just be a nice touch throughout. So I think they could have done better with it, to be fair, but still a really good putter, so four out of five. Going on to forgiveness, a goodness of four out of five, mainly because it's not the big mallet you can get. It is sort of, I'd say, a mid-sized mallet, so there was a little bit of movement if you don't hit it in the middle of the face. When it comes down to the face itself, do I think it gives you that extra 10% over, say, it's got a camera with the same face? Hard to tell. I mean, 10%. It's quite difficult to judge that, you know, even though AI, you know, even though Odyssey sort of came out and said that. I will say with this one, they say it gives you, I think it was 20%. So you're supposed to get more forgiveness with this. And I definitely do think this is a little bit more forgiving than this one, to be fair, even though I rated them both four out of five. But overall, it does exactly what it needs to do. As a mallet, it does give you that level of forgiveness. I don't think I ever hit one part and was like, oh my God, that's just shot to the right or shot to the left. Like I said, there was a few parts that were short, but that was just me not just not hitting it hard enough, really. That was just solely down to me. So four out of five, happy with it. That's exactly what it needs to do. Now on to price. And this is my issue with this putter. And this is where I said before I have an issue with it. Because the price of this brand new over in the UK is £399. Over in the US, it's $450. Now, just the AI one, yeah, is £249, and in the US it's $300. So you're saving yourself by going for this £150 over this. And my question is, why? Don't get me wrong, this definitely does look a lot more premium. Well, not a lot more premium, but does look more premium than the Rosie. I would say it does. You know, the blue's a little bit dark. Obviously, you've got... You know, that milled face, you don't have the milled face on this. You know, and it just looks and feels a little better quality. But then the shaft's the same. The grips, sorry, but the grip has been changed on this one. But I know that the grip is the same as this. The only difference is, is this blue line is gold. The head covers, they look slightly different. So here you go, here's the AI one. And here is the AI milled one, a bit, a bit different on the bottom as well, a slightly different colour scheme, but <laughs> exactly the same, exactly the same material, exactly the same feel, you know, same magnet, and it just makes me go, well, hold on, what are you really spending £150 more on? So basically, it's for that insert, that milled insert. You're spending an extra £150 more. And then it just also puts this in the bracket of your Scotty Camerons, your, you know, which are 492 over here in the UK, your pink PLDs. And this is another thing, like the Scotty Camerons, they all look different. They all look very premium. With this, it just looks, including the shaft, too much, in my mind, like a normal one. You know, when before Odyssey had, you know, the deal with Toulon and they were producing these Odyssey Toulon putters, you know, these were green, the shaft were different colours, the grip were different colours, the head covers were very much different colours, and you could really could distinguish them between a normal Odyssey putter. Now you can't, you know, they don't have the deal with Toulon anymore, that's now stopped, Toulon are now producing their own putters, which I'm assuming is still going to be very good. And so, for me, there's nothing really making me stand out from your normal Odyssey putter. You know, if they completely change the colour system, you know, completely change the grip, completely change the head cover, then I'd be like, this is great, you know. A whole brand new putter, this is awesome, you know, it's fantastic, you know, this is their premium range, blah, 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 £150, all right. It's a lot of money, but this is what you're paying for. You're paying, paying for their premium range. But I just don't get it with this. I just don't get it that it is their premium range because the colours are so similar, because the head cover is exactly the same material, because the grips are exactly the same material, because the shafts are exactly the same material. I don't get this as their premium brand. For me, I think they should be, you know, close to price point. I think if they're close to price point, then I think that's fair because then you just have the option of going, well, you know, that's a little bit too soft for me, so I'd rather go for the milled insert, which is a little bit firmer, and I just prefer that type of feel rather than, 
I don't know. You just, you, I just don't feel you're getting 150 pounds more putter. I know milled is a far more expensive process, and all milled putters tend to be a bit more expensive. But then, you know, Wilson Staff milled putters aren't as much as this. You know, the Cleveland milled putters they're releasing, which are supposed to be very good, aren't as much as this. And so I just don't get it. I don't get this putter. Do I think it's a great Odyssey putter? I do. Odyssey makes some really good putters, but for me, I feel like they should have changed it completely. Like the two lawns they used to bring out, which were different colours, you know, different grips, different um, shafts, etc. I just feel like they should have done that. All they've done in this, really, in my mind, is taken the insert out, changed the insert between the two of these, you know, and obviously this being a whole milled body, you know, obviously you don't get things like that in there where you've got that sort of the window to see the AI technology there. But I just I just don't get it, <laughs> to be honest. You know, and do let me know down in the comments below, you know, if you think fair enough or, you know, and you think it is worth £150, do let me know if you're in the same opinion of me that they just haven't changed enough in it to make it worth that £150 more or $150 more. Because in my mind, as much as this is great putter, looks great, feels great, and it does feel premium. You know, if i am got a premium club in my bag, I want people to know it straight away. You know, oh, you know, you've got a camera in your bag, or you've got this, you've got this, you've got this, you know. Or with, but with this, the head covers are just too similar. You have to really get up to it and be like, oh, you've got the milled one. Oh, so you've got the more premium putter, you know, got the milled version. You know, or, oh, you've got the, a nice new... Odyssey AI one putter. How's that going? You know, it's just, it doesn't, I haven't changed it enough for me. It's really, as you can tell, quite upsetting me to be fair because it is a great putter, but they just they should have changed it more. But this is my opinion. Um, so, price wise, I'll give it a two out of five to be fair. I just don't personally think it's, you know, it's it's worth the next £150. I think next extra $150. So, I've given it a two out of five because. Overall, if this wasn't here, then I'd say it's a great putter, and I say it is probably worth it. You know, don't get me wrong; it's not as soft as a Scotty Cameron's. And personally, I don't think it's quite as arty as Scotty Cameron's are, but you know, it's still a little bit cheaper than them, and it's a very good putter. But because the little sister is here, and let's be honest, a lot of tall players use this one over this one. I stay, yeah, two out of five. I just, and even two, I feel like I'm being generous with two out of five, to be fair. I think it maybe should be 1.5, to be honest. But anyway, there you go. And that's my main issue with the, this pattern. What my main issue with Odyssey as a whole when it comes down to this? You know, you're charging a more premium amount for this. Make it look, make it look premium, you know, completely change the grip color, you know, completely change the head cover, for crying out loud. It's just, I mean, it just, they just look too similar. I know that the colours are slightly different, but I mean, it's just ugh, annoying, 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 annoying. But there you go. There, I rant. Rant is over now. So two out of five. All right, guys. There's my review of the AI one milled putter from Odyssey. Will it be going in my bag? Personally, just finish off on that. At the moment, I'm really enjoying the normal one, to be fair. But I might keep this and maybe in the summer, give it another go when the greens quicken up. Because I feel like that sort of powerful face with this one, I might put it past it a few times. But we'll wait and see. But at the moment, I love my normal AI one. I, know, I love that Rosie. But maybe it might make my way in the summer when I give it another go. Because it definitely deserves another go because it is a great putter. But... I just have issues with it, as you already know. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a like if you did. Comment down below, you know, if you agree with me, as I mentioned, you know, do you think they should have differentiated this more from the normal AI1 range, especially the fact, you know, this is, in my mind, is supposed to be replacing the Toulon range, which originally they had, um, which they do not have anymore. So do let me know in the comments below. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, so you don't miss out on weekly reviews and also the odd video as well, extra video out there like a versus video or 
a few other things as well that I've got planned for over the summer. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy your weekend of golf, and I will catch you uh, for my next video uh, for this Sunday with the ACS Golf. All right, then. See you then. Bye-bye.